2020 has been a tough year for us. From a deadly pandemic to a global movement for racial justice, the year 2020 has certainly experienced its fair share of world-shifting events. Over a million lives were lost in the pandemic. Oil prices turned negative and protests swept the streets. And before the year ends, vaccinations are rolling out at a record speed. Here is a list and timeline of the major events that have happened and shaped 2020. Raw BDR Devastating fires in Australia. For some in the Southern Hemisphere, the New Year started on fire. Bush fire hit Australia, burning approximately 18.6 million hectares. The fires raged for nearly 80 days, displacing and killing nearly 3 billion animals, a devastating biodiversity loss for the country. The U.S. and Iran were on the brink of war. Iran, not just... In early January, a U.S. airstrike incinerated the car of General Qasim Soleimani, a security mastermind in one of Iran's most powerful military strategies. U.S. officials claimed that Iran was planning an imminent attack. In retaliation, Iran fired two rockets at U.S. military bases located in Iraq. The Taal volcano in the Philippines has thrown molten rock into the sky. Meanwhile, in the Philippines, after 42 years, Taal volcano erupted again. The January 2020 eruption has affected thousands of families and caused millions worth of damage just days after the initial eruption on January 12. That retired Los Angeles Lakers basketball star Kobe Bryant has been killed in a health. The legendary Los Angeles Lakers player was killed along with his daughter, Deanna, and seven others when their helicopter crashes in Calabasas, California on January 26. The 41 year old has spent his entire 20 year career with the Los Angeles Lakers winning five NBA championships and widely regarded as one of the greatest players of all time. A dangerous virus is spreading rapidly in China and U.S. officials... Before February, cases of the still unnamed virus were largely contained within China, with the rest of the world cautiously observing the country's containment efforts. Slowly but surely, the virus began to spread beyond China's borders. The virus spreads around the world. As a result, the global tourism industry suffered dramatic losses, with countless cruise ships dock and passengers' flights traveling at a half capacity. From toilet paper hoardings to limits on the gatherings, the pandemic's immediate effect on our surrounding environment became clear as early as March. As daily life came to standstill, commuter activity in major cities plummeted throughout the month. Legendary singer and actor Kenny Rogers died last night of Vocalist Kenny Rogers, who dominated the pop and country charts in the 1970s and 1980s with a string of sleekly tailored hits and won three Grammys, has died. Rogers died peacefully at home from natural causes under the care of hospice at the age of 81. With a major development in the investigation into the death of George Floyd. I can't breathe. These few words sparked the ongoing flames of a significant movement last summer. Black Lives Matter. After the killing of George Floyd on May 25 by police, the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project recorded over 7,750 Black Lives Matter linked demonstrations over a three month span. The dramatic shift to staying at home has resulted in a much higher reliance on the technology for many people. Nowhere were this trend exemplified more than the rise of video conferencing software, Zoom. The platform was used for work, education, and socializing alike. As monthly users swelled, those who typically take to the skies also declined in a steep fashion. The 
breaking news from Lebanon. The capital, Beirut, has been hit by a massive explosion. While the world grappled with numerous biological and natural disasters, human error led to a deadly explosion that wrecked Beirut's port. The blast was broadcast around the world in real time as people filmed the fire on their devices. Using satellite data, NASA and NYT mapped the extent of the damage, which claimed 135 lives and affected 305,000 more. Actor Chadwick Boseman died at the age of 43 following a private four-year battle with colon cancer. Black Panther actor Chadwick Boseman died at the age of 43 after a four-year battle with colon cancer. His death on August 28 shocked fans since he had completed several blockbuster films while keeping his diagnosis private. Day, the Cameron Fire, one of the largest in history, is exploding in Colorado. Reddish orange skies might seem underworldly, but this fall, they were a common sight across the west coast of North America, where air quality reached the hazardous category for long stretches of time. The new President-elect Joe Biden. Joe Biden became the 46th President of the United States on November 7, defeating President Trump with a critical assist from his birth state, Pennsylvania, which delivered the votes to propel him to victory and end one of the most contentious elections in recent memory. Super Typhoon Goni has made landfall in the Philippines. Super Typhoon Goni explodes in 2020's strongest storm on Earth and slam in viral true south of Luzon in the Philippines. Typhoon Vamco has caused extensive damage in the Philippines. Typhoon Vamco, the third typhoon to hit the storm-battered Philippines in as many weeks, caused major flooding in Manila and trapping people in rooftops and claiming at least 11 lives in other parts of the country. Typhoon Vamco back winds up to 155 km hour as it swept across the country's largest island of Luzon after making landfall overnight. Like history tells us, pandemics come in waves. The third wave of COVID-19 escalated in November. When cases began to surge, by the end of November, global cases soared to 60 million. Since then, cases have trended upward, leading local governments worldwide to enforce social distancing requirements for the winter holiday season. Pfizer and BioNTech reporting the first results from their Phase 3 vaccine trial. In more recent news, Pfizer made waves when it announced it was rolling out a 95% effective COVID-19 vaccine, then followed Moderna at 94.5% in mid-November. As the global vaccination race intensifies, Bloomberg tracks the progress of nine vaccines in 80 publicly disclosed distribution deals representing 7.95 billion vaccination doses. The first Americans were vaccinated against the coronavirus on December 14, after the U.S. Food and Drug Administration approved the emergency use of Pfizer's COVID-19 shot on December 11. What has 2020 taught us? Put your mental health first. Physically, the pandemic was harming us, and mentally, it was ruining us. 2020 was the year we all learned how important it is to be mentally healthy. Whether it was at home or work, everyone started putting their mental health first. Many companies even allowed their employees to take a day off if they just weren't feeling it. And that is real progress. Learn to love yourself. 2020 was the year of self-love. Loving ourselves despite the changes in our mental health, weight, Income, social life, work environment, in your surroundings was key to surviving 2020. And that sums up our 2020. I'm your nomadic one, saying no matter how hard the situation is, just keep going.